Hello there, and welcome to another episode of our Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So in this episode, I'm just going to go right into it. We're going into the final repository, where I have no doubt Ranrock is waiting for us. So, this should be intense. This episode might be longer than usual, or than, than what we've been doing, but we'll just have to see. So... Let's get into it. I am excited. I'm excited to see where this goes. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Damn, the goblins. I wonder if I'm not here. Let's go. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. We must be getting closer. Renrock will be pleased with our progress. You won't get away with that. So much more of them. Not a dead end. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Very perceptive, my young friend. It worked. Let's go. I... Okay, I didn't do that, but okay. Lumos! Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos! 
Wigginwalds. Listen, more goblins up ahead. haven't brought us much luck so far. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. in the cavalry. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charge. Hard to believe it's only been about 10 minutes.
we made it. I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. I can't believe this is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Protect it. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? For now, I think. The more people that know about it and that are there to protect it, the better. I know that means that more people could learn about it that want to use it, but... I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I am ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. <laughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either.
I'll admit that doesn't really surprise me. <clears throat> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you, certainly a long standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation 
charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, Professor Black. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig. Me as soon as Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. No more winter. Huh. <laughs> You've completed the story of your school year. <laughs> so that's how they do it. Okay, well that makes sense. Well, I mean, that's kind of nice though. After you finish the main story of it, there's still some stuff to do. I like that. What was that? It said that 
we had completed in the Shadow of Revelations as well, which I did not, I did not notice that. Hmm. Not so sure about that, but we'll see. But anyway, this has been an action-packed episode. I'm glad I was able to fit all of it into one. Uh, Fig dying, that, in all honesty, did not surprise me. I, I, won't, I wouldn't say I saw it coming, but again, it does not surprise me. But anyway, that was pretty cool. Kind of kind of sad Ra uh, Ranrock didn't get any like last words after we defeated him, but meh. <laughs> but anyway, in the next episode, we'll be finishing up. I, I gotta uh, figure out what exactly we'll be doing in the next episode. There's a few side quests to do. And we'll probably talk to Poppy first before we do uh, Not Size quest because that's going to be a battle so but yeah so we'll like i said we'll see but anyway if you enjoyed this episode which i sincerely hope you did please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for when i post new content and let me know your thoughts about the episode in the comment section down below but other than that thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you all next time